What is up, y'all? My name is Bria, and this is Evon Wellness. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Um, today's topic is we're going to be talking about five signs that you might be deficient in magnesium. Um, so this is a super important topic because magnesium is a very abundant, abundant mineral in the body, and it is responsible for over 300 enzyme reactions in the body. I think almost every cell in the body has uh, magnesium in it and it's responsible for so many different things. It helps to regulate your blood pressure. It helps to regulate your blood sugar. It helps to um, affect, it affects your mood. It affects your brain function. It affects your nervous system. It's responsible for the production of protein and it also works with calcium to produce bone cells. Um, it's responsible for energy production. Like so many different things can be traced back <laughs> to magnesium in the body. And it's really crazy how important it is. And it's also really crazy how deficient most people are. Studies report that about 50% of Americans are actually deficient in magnesium. So we are not getting enough magnesium in our everyday life. Why is that? Well, a number of things can contribute to magnesium deficiency. Um, one of them being your diet. If you are not consuming magnesium rich foods, that would be things like seeds, pumpkin seeds, um, sunflower seeds, leafy greens, avocados, um, nuts, cashews, almonds, Brazil nuts. Those are all things that are super, um, high in magnesium and so if you're not consuming those things and you're consuming a lot of refined food highly ultra processed foods that come in a box and don't grow naturally it's going to contribute to um your magnesium deficiency so number one definitely will be diet number two also kind of playing into the diet is that our farming practices that we practice now are highly industrialized and so they take out a lot of the magnesium from the soil so it's not getting into the food and that can contribute to um, less magnesium rich food in our produce and so we have to eat more in order to get the uh, right amount of magnesium that we should be consuming in a day um, another factor that contributes to magnesium deficiency um, that would be medications <laughs> medications um, like protein pump inhibitors so that's any you know any type of antacid that you're taking or GERD medication things like that can deplete your magnesium levels um, birth control has shown to deplete magnesium levels if you consume a high amount of caffeine or alcohol that is going to affect your magnesium levels um, and other medications as well have shown to um, contribute to the depletion of magnesium. Um, oh, another one like steroids. That's another medication that would contribute to the depletion of uh, magnesium in the body. And so it's important that if you're on those medications, you work with a nutritionist or your doctor to either supplement and replenish the uh, magnesium in your body or to increase your consumption of your magnesium because you know that these medications are depleting it. Um, another thing that can affect your magnesium levels is stress. So high, high stress levels have shown to um, affect magnesium levels significantly. All right, my camera died, but also another thing that can contribute to depletion of magnesium would be if you suffer from any diseases like Crohn's disease or celiac disease, if you have diabetes, or if you're over the age of 60, you are at a higher risk for being deficient in magnesium. And so knowing all of that, it's important to make sure that we are consuming magnesium rich foods on a daily basis to help support our body and support um, healthy living. But let's get to the meat of it, <laughs> five, the five signs and symptoms. There's actually more than five, but I'll give you um, five physical and five uh, psychological signs and symptoms that you might be uh, suffering from magnesium deficiency. So number one being muscle spasms. Number two, tremors, an increase in menstrual cramps, constipation, headache, 
fatigue or weakness. That's a little bit more than five, but <laughs> those are some physical signs of a magnesium deficiency. And then some psychological signs could be irritability, anxiety, low mood, and insomnia. Magnesium deficiency can also affect your hormone regulation, which in turn can affect your circadian rhythm and um, cause insomnia, cause you to be up all night. So that's something to think about if you have trouble sleeping um, to make sure that you're getting enough magnesium in your diet. And so like we talked about, you can definitely increase your consumption of foods that contain magnesium. And it's also um, important to work with a physician or a nutritionist to potentially think about supplementing um, kind of in between if you're unable to get the amount of food that you need to get the daily recommended amount of um, magnesium that you need each day. And so I'm going to post the RDA right here so you can take a look at that. But just to give you like, uh, I guess a rule of thumb, <laughs> if you have about two to three servings of leafy greens, so that's about two to three cups of leafy greens a day, that'll give you the recommended amount of magnesium that you would need for a day. So you could start your day, for example, with um, a cup of spinach and a smoothie, and then maybe for lunch, have a side salad with some mixed greens, and then maybe for dinner, have a soup and throw some mixed greens in there, and then boom, 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 one, two, three cups <laughs> in each one, one cup in each meal will give you the recommended uh, amount that you need per day. Another way, um, about a fourth a cup of nuts is going to give you... Um, a third of the recommended daily amount that you need. So if you just have a fourth a cup of nuts every day, you're getting just uh, one third of what you need for the day just by eating those nuts. And so those are some easy ways to try and incorporate more magnesium into your diet um, and just really try to diversify your diet. That's going to help support the gut. And that's also going to help to um, increase the ways that we're getting not just magnesium, but so many other micronutrients in the body. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, leave it below. I'd love to answer. Again, my name is Bria. I'm an integrative nutritionist, and I thank you for being with me today. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.